Lance here, you guys better know me as Craft Farmer. We're here to show you step two. So in the first video, you saw how we went ahead and built the manifold kit. We went ahead and installed our three quarter inch powered whip kits. So now we're gonna show you how we do the table kit. I've got my good friend here, Dustin, one of my right hand man here. I've been cultivating for a long time. So Dustin's gonna help me install the table kit and really just show you guys how easy this is and how user friendly. Again, everything in the Craft Farmer irrigation store has been built and assembled so it takes the least amount of work for you if you have absolutely no construction experience no cultivation experience this kit is designed for you so let me show you what Dustin and I have already done we went ahead and used a craft farmer one inch manifold kit and then we have the one inch powered whip kits coming down to each table. Three quarter inch will work, but these are all set up for one inch. And now we're gonna show you how we do the table side of things. In the last video, you saw how we already did this. We're gonna pick up where we left off in that video and show you how easy it is to actually set up your irrigation. So let's get to it. What doesn't come in your kit is this half inch bulk poly line and these drippers. And that's sold in the store a la carte so you can order exactly what you need. And the reason that these two items don't come in the actual kit, some of you have an eight foot zone, some of you have a 16 foot zone, some of you have a 24 foot zone. This is in the store along with the drippers so you can contact me and I can get you set up exactly what you need for the kit. Now that we know we have four 50 foot zones that I need a hundred foot roll and we need about 600 of these micro drippers. These parts on the table come with your whip kit. We've ordered our Netafim punch tool. This is the very best punch tool you can buy. You will have it forever and it punches an absolutely precise hole for your drippers. Justin and I are gonna go ahead and start getting into this so you can see just how easy it is. So this is how user-friendly this kit is. You unscrew your piece, make sure that you leave your binder in there, add your nut, push this in, tighten this, and that's a watertight seal. Now we're gonna come to this side, stick that in there, tighten this, make sure that's nice and taut. I like putting the loop on here rather than the elbows because anywhere that you can have a loop and you don't have a hard 90 degree turn, you're gonna have better water flow. So as you can see, I've made sure that the poly tube gets under the teeth so it's nice and tight and it's not gonna leak. I'm gonna tighten that. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna press this into our table. Yep, there you go, another way. So you can see we're not using any elbows, but we have a huge table. And you can see how easy this is for Dustin. Dustin has cut his half inch white poly at the lengths he needs and he's gone ahead and tied it into the three quarter inch powered whip kit. So now what we've done here is we've successfully created a complete loop around our irrigation zone. So when you hear me online referring to how many zones do you have, this room has four zones. This bench, we consider one zone. So now we've created a full loop what this loop allows is for all of the water to pressurize and be in complete sync so that every dripper is gonna get the proper amount dialed down to the milliliter. So as Dustin's showing you, if you look on the side here, this particular brand, Grodan, which is our industry standard, it has some markers this way up. Our particular uh, style of cultivation we use four slabs wide on the five foot bench. We're gonna set it up how we cultivate and then we're gonna show you how these holes get punched. It's my recommendation that you replace your poly and you replace your drippers after every two to three runs. It's just one of the ways that I make sure that I have absolutely no problems and I can sleep good at night knowing that my irrigation system is all set. So Dustin's got everything lined up here. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how we punch these. Right here, we're gonna have 12 plants. We know that we need to punch three sets of four holes. One of the main reasons I like this particular punch tool and the reason that this punch tool is sold in the craft farmer shop 
It's so you guys don't message me and say, my dripper isn't working, I don't have a good punch. Look at how clean and nice these holes are. There's no debris, there's no little particle. I know that Dustin can punch 1,200 holes and we're not gonna have a problem. And now he's gonna go to his middle set of plants. And the, the tool is very nice. It has a nice pistol grip. Boom, and now he's gonna punch his next three. So now Dustin's punched these holes. I'm coming over here to the drippers. This is a very good thing to practice. Before you cut any of your drippers or you open them, I like to look at the label. Even though I've ordered the correct drippers, I wanna make sure this whole bundle says 0.3 GPH 36 inch. If by accident, one of these is a 30 inch or a 48 inch, those plants will get a different amount of water. So as a rule of thumb, I always look at this ticket and I make sure it's 0.3 and 36 inch. Always have like 50 of these extra on hand just in case you need to replace one or anything. Things happen, I'm gonna pull my first four and then you can see, watch how easy this is. I like to grab them at the base and they just pop in, I look for the snap sound. You heard a nice little snap sound. Just like that. Now we come over to our next four. Now we come to our next four. This is set. A couple different things we can do from here. We actually soak our slabs using our drip stakes, and that's as easy as taking two of these stakes, popping them in, and then taking two more, popping them in. We do this when we're done installing all our stakes. We're showing you an easy way for you to soak your slabs and not have to manually do this. That's that. Dustin and I are gonna keep going down this and punching those holes. So we're, we're basically wrapping this up. You saw how easy that is for me and my friend Dustin if someone was helping you. Super user-friendly, total do-it-yourself. So now we have our one-inch manifold, our one-inch whip kits. We have our pressurized zone. We have our flush valve. We have our micro whips installed, and that's it. Cut the check, go to the Craft Farmer Shopify store and change your irrigation game right now. Don't wait another day. Everything's in there for you to start crushing it on a completely different level and you've got me in your corner. You don't need anything else to win. Cut the check.